thought you left. I did. Have you seen Sam? No. I was just sitting here, wondering how many mistakes one man can make. You know, I left him with all that stuff that you told me about, Sam. I couldn't get it out of my mind. The things she did, the lies, the games, the stuff she pulled, the things that everybody kept from me again. sitting there at the table. Candles lit. Okay, I don't need to hear this. Yes. I don't want to hear yes, this. Yes, you do. Because you and me, that's where all this started. Or rather with me. You know, if I would have trusted you to be around Patrick, if I would have tried to listen to you when you were telling me the truth, instead of later, when you started telling me lies, we'd be in a whole different place. You know, I don't know if it would have made a difference or not. I know my drugs, but I don't think I ever would have cheated on you with Maxie. That's something that I have to live with. Every day. Um, I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize again. I just have to make sense of this mess. I gotta make sense of this whole mess my world is in. You know, we could still we could still be married. We could still be in love the way we used to be. I could have her a son or a daughter. That could really be mine. Like I lied to you. I kept lying to you. No matter how justified that was in my own head, people who love each other don't do that. We were lying to a whole lot of people that we love every day. Aren't you? To protect him. You know, you try to protect me. I let him even believe that he was mine. You tried to protect me by holding back the truth about Sam and what she's capable of doing. At least you had an excuse. What excuse does Sam have? Okay, Mom, and you found us arguing. I was so annoyed that Sam had been left alone with Jake. Lucky she said she loved you. It makes the whole situation worse. I know there were a lot of hard feelings between you and Jason and Elizabeth, and I had no idea why. I, I, already, I don't care about that anymore. I, already, I, I told you. I even went to Elizabeth today to try and make peace. I know. You know? What, what do you mean? She told you? She told me a lot of things. Some very ugly things. I mean, you can't believe anything that she says. She doesn't want us to be together. She doesn't want us to be happy. She doesn't want her children in danger. That's why she freaked out when she came home and found you alone with Jake. I mean, what if... What if it did get out that Jason was Jake's father? And somebody grabbed him and ran off with him. And you stood by and let it happen. Like that day you did in the park.
she's she's sleeping. I don't even know why I'm here other than she was your best friend. Nicholas. She was our best friend. You need to go see her. You need to see her. Your brother and your son. It's time for you to start reconnecting with your life again. I can explain. No, you can't. I'm sure you can lie, and I'm... I'm sure you could come up with some real good convincing story. I'm sure you could even hire some people to put on some good convincing act for me. Kind of like the two thugs that you hired to terrorize Elizabeth and those two innocent little boys. Just so you could be on Everyday Heroes. Will you please just let me say something? Please? There's nothing that you could do to make a difference. The only thing you can do now is get the hell out of my life.